Hey guys, Nick here, and I'm back with another video. It's not gonna be a montage or stuff like that, please. I just want to talk with you guys about what is going to happen with this rune changed and uh, runes reforged is the title, holy. But anyway, I just saw this post and this official riot thingy, and after that, I just saw this and I just realized that I was watching this and I was thinking, oh, but I, I think I already saw it somewhere and I realized the true link I had to look is this. <laughs> so here we go. So after they gave us basic information with this, so they just slowly give us information about the different runes and how they structured and stuff like that. They straight up did this so we can see most of the runes here as far as i understood <laughs> so pretty nice page you gotta say so let's go straight up into the runes the website is made whole yeah i like i like it so much like it's really ooh spicy in my opinion so a lot of people already sent me the uh how they made the page for eyes and i don't know there are 60 runes, there are a lot. Let's start with reading what they do. I assume these are the five main runes um, you can have, and you can choose between them. So precision, improved attacks and sustained damage. Maybe this could be good with Riot since this concept is a machine gun, but I don't know, like on the paper it's good, but we, ha we have to see what it has to offer. Burst damage and target access, I don't know, I guess yes, we will see later. Empowered abilities and resource manipulation. Maybe for support, or maybe mid laners. Uh, I don't know, let's go next. Durability and crowd, not this, and creative tools, and this is probably the tank support, all this shit, I don't give a shit. Um, so, create your playstyle, okay, you can see. So precision is made up for it, as far as I, as I got. So this one is interesting. It could be Thunderlord maybe, the, the version, the updated version of Thunderlord. Like eating a champion with three unique attacks or abilities within two seconds deal bonus adaptive damage. But the question is what adaptive means? Mm, 60-22. Pretty good ratio I think. Maybe it's, it's the Thunderlord dude. It, maybe it's the normal turn and they change that uh, it's three unique attacks it's still good on rise but we have to see what we can see, we can choose between because as far as i understood it's like three you can choose between three or three or three or three and you have the the other things based on what you choose in the first place as you also drop soul sense that, that's not what we want it's probably for assassin dark harvest just to drop souls for the assassins so do you can get more damage i'm pretty sure i saw it on ranger on the bola strike uh so on the on the riot uh, uh, website the video so this is the sorcery mainly what we are going to choose probably we will see unleash distraction holy i like it what what happened okay okay <laughs> i don't know it was I don't know what I did. Okay, so unless destruction, like that's what I want from my right. Attacking abilities, uh, target, uh, damage, uh, shielding allies. Hmm. So it basically says that damaging a champion with an ability will do more damage. But the first ability. But it's a good damage. Like imagine having this with a W. Like, and the first skill you do like one shot, plus Ludens maybe, pretty interesting to see. If this, I oh don't know, maybe it's, what will happen is that those runes will be up after uh, around pre-season, and they already say that they will change rise before that, so we won't see, we won't use this rise with those runes. 
but it's still good to have an idea since the reworks uh, the kind of change they're going to do is not it's not that much like they, they won't change rise from zero they will just change some stuff and the thing that will be changed i think i'll do a video about it what i think that will be changed after the rework what is not good with rise etc and anyway hitting an enemy champion three unique attacks all the shit that's what i want to see the face rush that's the classic storm radius search probably hitting an enemy champion three unique attacks are really within two seconds yeah, that's so good. This is going to be a rise. And the other shit, we don't care. Okay, so let's go for sorcery. As for, okay, so we have to choose all. Oh, this is so clean, I gotta say. So we, we, we choose the sorcery and we choose here or here, here. Okay, Okay, so let's complete the sorcery part first. Your attacks and abilities send air to target damaging enemies or shielding allies. This is like, this is not efficient for rise because um, we have to see the others because I don't remember anymore, I gotta be honest, but your attacks and abilities send Irie, which is an animal probably, and like you send it to a target damaging enemies or shielding allies. But the thing that Rides does shield allies, so it's gonna be kind of waste, but we have to say, we, we have to see what this is and this. Hitting an enemy champion with spell, hitting a champion with a spell hurts a damaging comet at them. I think this is the, probably the best one here. Hitting a cha an enemy champion with three unique attacks. A, a burst of movement speed. This one. 100% dude. 100%. Only one slot for the Storm Raider Surge is really good. Like we have others. Oh, three or four, five, six. I don't know. But the Storm Raider Surge. The re re reversion of Storm Raider Surge. So hitting an enemy champion with three unique attacks. Or abilities run a burst of movement speed. Like imagine doing WEQ. And, or even auto attacks count. So imagine being against a tank and just auto Q E or just E Q auto because E E won't be affected by this. But this is still good because it's not um, based on enemy uh, on how much damage you do, but it's based on how much you spam your abilities. And it's not shown the cooldown here, but oh yeah, I'm pretty sure it was here. Yeah, it is 3 seconds, the cooldown of 15, which is really nice. In Teamfight you can proc it twice or three times, like some of the surges right now. And so, the the thing about it is that you can proc it against tanks too, not against squishes only, like it is right now with some of the surge, which is really good. And for us, even better, because it is a machine gun concept, right? right? So you have to constantly spam your abilities, which is good. Pace rush, 100%. So, we have to choose another one here. Gain a magic... Holy! Gain a magic damage shield when low on health. It's gonna be good, dude. You will still get a magic damage shield, which is good. And we have to see the numbers first, of course, to have an idea. But, maybe, practically, your next ability has... Ooh, what is this? Mana Flow Band. We have to see how much it will refund. I will 100% pick this, but we have to see how much it will uh, restore mana. Because I I just predict, guys, this this mana flow band will be no used. No one will use this in the first place because it's gonna be useless for probably. If it's not good, it will be completely useless because you just build up morale. Or the 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 last chapter probably is pronounced and it's really good so you don't need that shit but we, we have to see we have to see the numbers first of course but it's just a project right here so just to have an idea because it's the first time i'm seeing this stuff um game could have reduction and max could have reduction on your ultimate with this mm. this is good this is probably picked by a twisted fate or a cartus maybe which are really impactful ulti on old map but at the same time they're really they're pretty rewarding so you have to keep using them and this is pretty good maybe we can even do the same kind of thing with rise so we can say that we can have more cooldown reduction and max it's probably the five percent cooldown reduction and so we can uh, cap the 45 which is good 
and we will have even wait gain cooldown reduction max cooldown reduction on your ultimate so it's only the ultimate this thing oh okay so it's only the ultimate so not worth not worth it i will 100 percent pick this but against uh, AP uh, enemies, it's this. So it's nice to see how put, Riot put a magic damage shield in this mastery. So they want uh, the, this rune system to be like variable based on playstyle and what you have against you. So it's pretty nice to see something like this in this. But we have to see the numbers first. As I said already like 100 times. <laughs> okay. So the next one is... Okay, that's what I... Gain 10% CDR when you reach level 10. Excess CDR become... Oh, this is nice. This is pretty nice. Adaptive means that they will automatically do damage like AP or AD based on the champion you're playing, probably. You gain 3% extra movement speed. Oh, this is pretty nice too. Probably on Twisted Fate. But not our case because we won't build movement speed anyway. Items of movement speed are like Echo, Ludens. Maybe we can use it after the W buff. I I I have to say that I built it sometimes and it feels pretty good to do W EQ and just W destroying the enemy. Okay, just saying, but not efficient at all on Rise, probably. <laughs> so well above seven percent health gain up to. Oh man, this is pretty situational, but I think 10% CDR is pretty, pretty standard here, hey? pretty good. So the decision between transcendence and absolute focus is pretty hard because when you have more health, you'll do a lot more damage. Like just imagine starting up, starting up a team fight with one rotation late game, maybe when you are like, you have 40 AP. Not, not that much, but maybe with Rabidons, many scaling with the Abyssal Scepter, uh, not the Abyssal Scepter, sorry, the, the Serps Embrace, which gives a lot of shit. So you just scale everything up with AP. And this is good. Like 40 AP late game means, like it can potentially be 100 AP plus other scaling. And with Rabidon maybe. So it is a pretty hard choice. And I don't know. We have to see the like the scaling of the numbers because it's it's obviously forty ability power, like he said. But like we have to see how much it is at level one, level two. So we have an idea because if it's more than twenty or fifteen at level one, which is not possible at all, it's gonna be good, especially good, maybe overpowered. So we go for transcendence this time. Scorch, what a what a name! Your first ability hit the heavy. Oh, this is brand is calling here with with the red thingy. Brand is here, dude. Gathering storm gain increase amount of eighty eight AP over the course of the game. Oh, wait, but gathering storm is pretty similar to this. Hmm, don't know. But AD or AP is pretty good, but yeah, probably the best because this one we don't hit a champion every twenty seconds. We hit we hit it every zero point two seconds, <laughs> maybe less. So that's the point I want to do. But of course, dude, we have to see the numbers first because it's oh, if it's like twenty uh, plus uh, one hundred AP scaling or stuff like that, which is impossible, but. Like, it's still, like, we don't have numbers, so we can say, but gaining, uh, increasing, uh, increasingly um, amount of AD and DP over the course of the game is always good. So that's, it's, that's about it. So sorcery plus precision, precision? Oh, I have to choose between, right? Yeah, okay, got it. Wait, did they read? Dude, there are a lot. Holy moly. There are a lot of l uh, runes. I saw this gives more AP, so j let's go for this. Wildfly for Assassin. Increasing. Oh, this is, seems really good. Let, let's just do it. 
Gain a free stopwatch. One time use that. What is this? Gain a free stopwatch. Stopwatch has a one time use thesis active. So it's like a Zonius. If it's a Zonius, it's amazing. Like only one time, but still amazing. Oh, <laughs> this is interesting. This could be good, Rise. Holy. Like, I don't know what minions sujourne. Maybe it's Francais, but killing minions will, with the. Ah, it's an item. Okay. Gives permanent bonus damage with versus that type of minion. Like imagine having more damage against caster minion or just, so you just do E and you instantly kill the the, the, the caster minion, you flux the enemies nearby, you just Q and you just push the wave even faster. But I don't think it's that efficient probably because let's just take a chance that we don't take this. So we just do E, E on the wave. So it's not that much worth it to take this maybe this there is something better i don't know you can enter that to buy items like it's a utility thingy which is always good uh i probably already saw the numbers of this but i can't remember maybe it's two, uh, 15 plus your level uh, not sure though we have to check get free boots at 10 minutes but you cannot oh Oh, that's interesting. You can get free boots at 10 minutes. But you cannot be buy boots before then. Holy, that, that's so creative. I like it. But... I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's good. We have to see. Five, mm, five, oh, this is, this is probably what I'm going to take here. Bonus movement speed towards enemy nearby allies. Oh, this could no 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 no, because we already have the the storm raiders thingy, which is phase rush like bonus movement speed towards nearby allies that are CC'd or enemies that are CC'd that you CC'd. So let's let's put um, an example where we just EW an enemy, okay? So we, we're going to have um, a bonus movement speed towards them, but I don't think that's that efficient since we're just hitting an enemy champion with three unique attacks over here. Grants the Storm Radius Surge. L dude, I always call it Storm Radius Surge because it, it's fucking the same. But hey, like it's not efficient to take this because when we CC, we probably do already three unique abilities or attacks because we do EW or just W and we have time to do other shit. But we, as always, as the um, I had to count how many times I said like we have to see the numbers, but <laughs> we have to see the numbers first. But because of early champion damage, oh, this is interesting, but not our case. So I would probably go for five percent cooldown reduction. So guys, this is pro. I didn't see the other ones, but I'm too lazy to do that, and probably they're not that good like this. Wait, did they reset this? Biscuits and this. Um, yeah. So if you have any better um, room page uh, with about rise, I will be happy to see that. Like, I want this video to be like everyone paste their their rooms page and they just we just comment together to get a, an idea of which one is the best. Okay. So it's gonna be like this in order to make the channel more like uh, interactive, you know, like we just share information and stuff like that because our community rise means we are already not that much. Hey, we just have to keep ourselves strong enough and yeah. So I'm gonna just paste it out in the comment this page and we just discuss about it. And if you have a uh, better page, you just paste it. And, uh, and uh, if you have anything to say, I'm here, uh, uh, we're fine. So uh, it's enough for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. I will probably cut a lot of stuff because I spend a lot of time talking about this shit and reading all the things. Like if you made it to this far, I love you, dude. But anyway, this, is, this video is over. I hope you liked it. And now the outro will destroy your ears.